We're really privileged to work with some amazing undergraduate interns at the Berkeley SETI Research Center and the Astronomy Department that are working with us on a wide range of projects as we're attempting to answer what we think is the most profound question that we can ask as humans, and that is, are we alone in the universe? We've really been privileged to work with some amazing students in our group. They've worked on visualization of our data, both for our group to understand what we're looking at and for the public to see what we're observing. We actually just finished creating a dashboard for Breakthrough Listen observers uh, who are using the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. Just to log in to see what the telescope is doing, it takes quite a bit of work. And uh, we found that, well, it'd certainly be nice to have a, kind of a one-stop shop for anyone observing or especially future interns. At the end of this internship, I've now produced a website that any future observers for Green Bay can go to uh, and see, okay, everything's working. You know, if you're doing a late night observation, you can maybe go back to sleep. They've worked on data analysis, including applying some techniques from Silicon Valley like machine learning. I've written an algorithm that basically looks through all of the spectra that Breakthrough Listen has recorded and have been searching for candidates that I'm writing up into my final presentation for the internship. My research project involves basically the calibration of the signals that we're getting. So in order to make sure that we have the correct uh, output from the telescope, we first look at pulsars and make sure that we are producing the expected values for polarization and flux of a couple well-known pulsars. I wrote a pipeline code that uses both Python and Bash in order to streamline the process and hopefully in an hour it will produce the same results of what it took someone a full day to do. Some of the students had never written scientific code before. Some of them wrote their first computer programs in our group and became really quite proficient by the end of their time with us and that will really stand them in good stead whether they carry on in academia or if they're applying for jobs in the tech industry and in Silicon Valley where these skills are really very much in demand. I've since learned a heavy amount of Python obviously of necessity and a really fun way to learn how to program is through application in a field that you're interested in as opposed to you know reading a book or taking a class. Coming out of this now I'm like really well versed in a couple different programming languages, which is great. So we've been able to do a lot with the funding that's come from a variety of different sources, including your generosity as part of our previous crowdfunding campaign, but there's more that we want to do, specifically sending our students to scientific meetings. Attending conferences for astronomers is really important. It's a major way of how we get the word out about what's going on in our science uh, to the community. It's a major way that we network with people that we might want to work with in future or work for. It also just gives our students a really great experience to feel like they are the experts when they're standing up and presenting their research to people who are really very interested in the work that's going on. I think a lot of the skills I've developed here are very valuable. I think I want to go into college as an astrophysics major, applying in a few months to different schools. I just think that the universe is an incredibly amazing place and that whatever research I can do to help us understand it and our place in it is what I want to be doing and what better than SETI.